So the first thing we need to do to look at resonance for NO3- is get a good Lewis structure. You can see in this structure that the double bond is on the oxygen on the right, but we could also put it on the top or on the left. So there's two more ways we could draw the Lewis structure here for NO3-, like this, and then like this. So in each case, we have octets, or full outer shells, for all of the atoms in each structure, and we've used the same number of valence electrons in each structure. They're really pretty much the same, except where that double bond is. So we call these resonance structures, and we can show that with an arrow between each structure. So these are the three resonance structures for NO3-. So in the real world, we don't have three separate structures for NO3-. What we have is an average of these three structures. So if we look at the bonds, each bond would really be one and a third bond. We wouldn't have double bonds and single bonds. And experimental data in the lab shows us that this is the case. We draw resonance structures mainly because of the limitation of Lewis structures as we try to draw molecules in two dimensions on paper. But again, these three structures help us understand the distribution of electrons. But in real life, there is only one NO3- structure that is an average of these three. This is Dr. B with resonance structures for NO3- and thanks for watching.